ています。They can be strapped to you, but the actual blade is very, very sharp. Be very careful, and they've even got a tape measure on the blade. Also, for cutting the annular round pipes, this is a very good blade too. I'm now going to show you what we're looking for on a cut. Ideally, we need to keep the blade vertical and let the blade do the work, nice and slowly. No need to rush, and what we're looking for is a nice straight edge and a straight vertical edge. For example, if we want to put two bats together, you need a straight edge to make it nice, clean, and crisp. Likewise, if you're doing an annular cut, we need to keep the blade straight. We do not want to get coning if we can help it. However, if we do get coning, we can we can rectify it. So nice and slowly, using the vertical, let the blade do the work. Ideally, what you want is that. However, if you look at that side, we have got some cone. So we need to rectify this because this aperture is going to have HP installed into it. And you have to get the right amount of mastic in there. Otherwise, it will not act as a closer device. Unlike the white 702, where the actual cuts can be as tight as they can be on the pipework. Okay.